Good evening, everyone. My name is Melanie Vanderhoop, and I'm the Executive Director of the PGA of Ontario. I'd like to thank each of you for joining us in tonight's celebration as we recognize our professionals, past and present, for their dedication and service to our association. While this isn't the format by which we were anticipating celebrating with you this year, this awards night is the first of its kind, and not just because it's virtual. This year, we celebrate our 10 annual PGA of Ontario awards, as well as the conclusion of our inaugural year of our professional recognition program, specifically recognizing our top 100 and top five, as well as the formal induction of 35 charter class members into the PGA of Ontario's very own Golf Hall of Fame. It is a pleasure to have you join us this evening to celebrate the following recognizable professionals, but also each and every one of our PGA of Ontario members. Every one of you are the reason the PGA brand is as strong as it is today, after a year of hardship, difficult decisions, and novel challenges. And among it all, there were some incredible things that came out of this season. I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge the year we've had, and especially to thank those that have played such a large part in the success the PGA of Ontario has experienced this year. Despite the challenges, I am pleased to share what we've accomplished in 2020. We launched a number of member initiatives this year, beginning with our professional recognition program, which inspired action on everyone's part. Members participating in these programs don't only benefit themselves, but rather strengthen the industry, their communities, and their teams. Professional development through these channels promotes the game, grows the game, and enriches the game. We also launched our chapters initiative this year, which saw the development and ignition of eight regional chapters spanning the Ontario zone. We absolutely wouldn't have been able to do this if it weren't for the outstanding leadership and volunteerism of our chapter leads, who took the initiative to welcome their respective communities sales reps, media outlets, and fellow golf pros in open forums of information sharing and support. And finally, the launch of our very own Hall of Fame, culminating years of research by Mr. Michael Sherman and his Founders Committee members. We will all be able to observe with pride those members who have been, as well as those still to be, so inspirational to the association in the various areas of our business. A final thank you goes out to all host facilities that so graciously accommodated our 2020 tournament program, as well as to our board of directors who were actively involved in supporting at our events, as well as behind the scenes in navigating us through this year. I'm pleased to have you join us in celebration this evening, and we hope you enjoy the program. Good evening and welcome to the 2020 PGA of Ontario Award Celebration. My name is Craig Capito and I am the chair of the awards committee. The PGA of Ontario Award Program is an opportunity to recognize outstanding members for their achievements throughout this season and their career, as well as for their contributions to the association and their impact on the game of golf. Ten award recipients are named each year, with nine of those awards dependent on peer nomination. These nominations are then considered by the PGA of Ontario Awards Committee, who narrow the field to a list of finalists. This year, we received a record 98 nominees for these nine awards. The PGA of Ontario Awards winners are automatically put forward for a national award through the PGA of Canada Award Program. 
I wish to thank the awards committee for all their time and dedication during this process and a big congratulations to all 2020 winners. And the 2020 Retailer of the Year finalists are Jim Curry, Ovenberg Golf Club. Michael Fudge, the National Golf Club of Canada. And Phil Cavanaugh, Islington Golf Club. And your 2020 Retailer of the Year is Jim Curry, Ovenberg Golf Club. Congratulations, Jim. I'm proud to accept the 2020 Retailer of the Year Award on behalf of Ovenberg Golf Club. I'd like to thank the nominating committee and my fellow PGA professionals. As we all know, this is not an individual award. This is a team award, and I'm so proud of the team at Ovenberg. Starting with Nick Miracle, Cameron Cox, Andy Bradshaw, Jack Stoliker, and Taylor Nelson. Without their hard work and dedication, none of this would have been possible. I want to thank you guys, and I'm so proud to be part of your team. Be safe. The 2020 Apprentice Professional of the Year finalists are Connor Avril, TPC Toronto at Osby Valley. Matthew Anuxen, Western Golf and Country Club. Krista Shaws, Toronto Golf and Country Club. And your 2020 Apprentice Professional of the Year is Krista Shaws, Toronto Golf and Country Club. Congratulations. It is an honor to be named the 2020 PGA of Ontario Apprentice Professional of the Year. Thank you to the selection committee for your hard work and dedication throughout this entire process. A big shout out goes to Doug Rankin and the rest of the professional staff at the Toronto Golf Club who support me every single day. Thank you to TaylorMade Golf Canada who have allowed me to be one of their professional staffers since my very first day with the PGA of Canada. Congratulations to all finalists and all winners um, of these awards. You should be very proud of your hard work this year. There are so many names on this list of finalists who I look up to and I hope to follow in your footsteps and continue to grow the game of golf. The 2020 Class A Professional of the Year finalists are Mike Johnson, Cedar Bray Golf Club. Tim Moore, the Western Golf and Country Club. Chevy Rennie, Toronto Golf Club. And your 2020 Class A Professional of the Year is Mike Johnson, Cedar Bray Golf Club. To begin with, wow, what an incredible honor it is to be named the 2020 PGA of Ontario Class A Professional of the Year. Congratulations to my fellow finalists, Chevy Rennie and Tim Moore on your tremendous efforts over the past season. It's golf professionals like yourselves that make this industry better for everyone involved. Although this award is individual, I'd like to thank the following list of people who helped me get to where I am today. And I know that I only have 60 seconds, so I'm gonna to try to make this quick. To the PGA of Ontario Awards Committee and the PGA of Ontario staff, thank you for your tremendous efforts and all of your support over the past season. You guys are rock stars. To my fellow PGA professionals across the country, Thank you for inspiring me to become better day after day. Specifically, to Corey Helm, who introduced me to a, the possibility of a career in the golf industry, and to Kyle Corbo, who introduced me to the private club life and taught me all there is to know about the business side of the industry. To the members and staff at Cedar Bray Golf Club, thank you for creating a great work environment that I like to come into day after day. To the management team of Martin Pichet and good friend and mentor, Justin O'Leary, thank you for your tremendous leadership and for exposing me to all sorts of great learning opportunities here at the club. Lastly, to my family, mom, dad, and Melissa, thank you so much for all of your support through this continued journey. I would definitely would not be here today without the three of you. In closing, I know I may have missed some people, but 
thank you to everyone who's helped me along the way. You know who you are. I wouldn't be here today without you. And lastly, I'd like to wish all of my fellow PGA professionals a safe and healthy off-season after what was truly a unique and challenging year. Thank you. The 2020 Club Professional of the Year finalists are Phil Cavanaugh, Islington Golf Club. Todd McGrath, Thornhill Club. Jason Wyatt, Sunningdale Golf Club. And your 2020 Club Official of the Year is Todd McGrath, Thornhill Club. First of all, congratulations to all the other 2020 nominees and winners. I'm honored to have been even considered for Club Professional of the Year alongside with such industry leaders and longtime friends as Phil Cavanaugh and Jason Wyatt. It's been a very unique 2020 with many hurdles, challenges, and learning experiences. Kudos to all of my PGA colleagues across the country, along with their suppliers, sponsors, and other brand representatives. Together, we've been doing an amazing job. Thank you to a few of my career mentors, Tom McPhee at Smith Falls Golf and Country Club, Rob McDonald, who I worked for at Hamilton Golf and Country Club, and Mr. Joe Murphy here at the Thornhill Club. Thank you to the management team, members, and committees, and all of our board of directors at the Thornhill Club for their continued support, encouragement, and for creating an opportunities and being innovative to move forward in the club industry. Many thanks to all of our golf shop staff, as well as our PGA professionals for outstanding support with first-class service, products, and programs in a friendly and safe environment to our members and our guests. And this wouldn't be possible without the support of friends and family, namely my boys Brock and Brady, and especially to my wife Leanne. Without her, I wouldn't be where and who I am today. Thank you to the PGA of Ontario and the Selection Committee for this amazing recognition. The 2020 Executive Professional of the Year finalists are Rich Morrell, the Carrying Place Golf and Country Club. Dave Newsom, Greystone Golf Club. Rob Roxborough, Devil's Pulpit. And your 2020 Executive Golf Professional of the Year is Rob Roxborough, Devil's Pulpit. I am both humbled and honored to be recognized as the 2020 Executive Professional of the Year. I look back on this journey and realize the privilege I've had at working at Deer Creek, Magna, Hamilton, the National Golf Club of Canada, and finally the Pulpit and Paintbrush. And thank you to each of those golf courses for believing in me. And thanks to the staff who went to work every day to make a difference in the members and guests' lives. Each of you have a fingerprint on this award. But this is a game of a lifetime and a game of relationships. I'm privileged to have been an ambassador, both as a player and advisor for Nike Golf for almost 30 years. I thank you, Shrixon. And it's also been an honor to sit on the board of directors for the Mike Weir Foundation the past number of years. But through this game, we build relationships. I met my beautiful wife, Tanya, through golf, and we have two great kids, Sloan and Hayden. In closing, I'd like to recognize the PGA of Ontario, the great work you do every day, and congratulate each of the nominees for all the work you're doing to strengthen our game and association. You're making a difference. Thank you. The 2020 Junior Leader of the Year finalists are Brad Lawrence, Brampton Golf Club. Kerry Vaughn, the Club Link Academy at Glen Abbey. Trevor Wallman, Summit Golf Club. And your 2020 Junior Leader of the Year is Brad Lawrence, Brampton Golf Club. Thanks for sure. I'm very glad this is not being shown live in front of an audience and it's being taped ahead of time because if I start to cry which those who saw me last year know what may happen I can just recut the video and do it again being named junior leader of the year is a dream come true for me it's something that's meant a lot to me over the years I've been nominated twice before and I can't thank everyone for their support over the years from the membership of Brampton Golf Club to the other professionals who have helped mentor me along the way like Doug Laurie Milo Bryant Dan Shea Brody Wentham there's many many more I can name 
but I put this video under a minute. So thank you to all of them. Big thank you to Emerson Mahoney, who three years ago took a chance on me rebuilding our junior program. And it's been nothing short of spectacular in my eyes of what we've been able to do, both myself and the entire team here at Brampton. But most importantly, I need to remember to thank the kids here at Brampton Golf Club, the juniors, the pre-juniors, everyone in between, who really truly makes this program special. I couldn't have done any of this without you. So to all the kids here, thank you for your support. To all the parents, thank you for your support. And last but not least, thank you to the PJ of Ontario for naming me 2020 Junior Leader of the Year. It is an honor and a dream come true. Thank you. I'd like to congratulate all of this year's finalists in the PJ of Ontario Teacher of the Year category. I'm very proud to announce the three finalists are Gareth Rafluski, Riverbend Golf Community, James Skrypek, the Golf Academy at Deer Ridge, and Nick Starchuk, Nick Starchuk Golf Academy. And the winner of this year's PG of Ontario Teacher of the Year is Gareth Rafluski. Congratulations, Riverbend Golf Community. Well done, Gareth. Hello, I'd really like to thank my fellow PGA professionals for this award. It's a thrill to win the PGA of Ontario Teacher of the Year Award. I'd also like to thank the PGA for all their hard work and all the work they do behind the scenes to make this happen. I'd really like to thank also my golf club, Riverbend Golf Community, for all their support over the years. It's been 10 years. It's a phenomenal facility to work at. And lastly, I'd really like to thank my students. Those are the people who put their trust in me to help them improve their golf game. It's a thrill to work with you and I look to many more years working together. The 2020 finalists for Coach of the Year are Sean Casey, the Club Link Academy at Glen Abbey. Mike Martz, the Ontario Golf Academy. And your 2020 Coach of the Year is Sean Casey, the Club Link Academy at Glen Abbey. Thank you to Craig, Stacy, and everyone on the PGA of Ontario Awards Committee. I really appreciate you selecting me as the Coach of the Year. It's a great honor, especially when I consider the other coaches we have here in Ontario. Thank you to Glen Abbey and Clublink and everyone I've worked with there over the past 20 seasons, as well as Matt Balaka and the staff at Hidden Lake. This being my first season there, I really appreciate the uh, welcoming and support and making it uh, a great first season for me. Thank you to Taylor Maiden Adidas for their continued support of myself, the Academy, uh, and our junior programs. And finally, thank you to my wife, Kate, uh, for your support in me and uh, in doing what I love to do. So thanks again. This is a, a special one, and I uh, really appreciate the honor. The 2020 Professional Development Award finalists are Justin Kerr-Taylor, Bayview Golf and Country Club. Brad Lawrence, Brampton Golf Club. Chevy Running, Toronto Golf Club. And the 2020 Professional Development Award winner is Dustin Kerr-Taylor, Bayview Golf and Country Club. Hi everyone, uh, truly honored to win this year's Professional Development Award with the PGA of Ontario. Uh, in our business, our learning, our, our training never stops, and I'm so thankful that the PGA of Canada and Ontario put out so many great programs year after year uh, for us to better our skills. So uh, thank you to them, and I want to share this definitely with the other nominees. Uh, thank you so much. Congratulations to the 2020 Ontario PGA Player of the Year, David Sheeman, Emerald Hills Golf Club. Congratulations, David. Great playing this year. It's a tremendous honor to have won the PJ of Ontario Player of the Year Award, and there are many, many people who I'd like to thank for their help and support. Thank you to all the staff and members of Emerald Hills for being so warm and welcoming to me.
truly am so proud to represent the club. Everyone is so supportive and encouraging to me, and it really means the world to me. Thank you also to everyone from the PGA of Ontario who made our tournament season possible this year. Stacy, Matt, Mike and Nice, it was an incredibly challenging year, and you allowed us a chance to play comfortably and safely in a really difficult time. Thank you so much. Thank you also to all the host courses who made time for us in what was an incredibly busy and difficult year. On behalf of all the players, thank you for giving us a chance to compete this year. We all really, really appreciate it. I'd also like to thank my family, particularly my parents and my wife, Heather. Uh, Mom and Dad, there's simply no way that I would be able to be in the golf industry without your support. I feel so lucky to work in this industry, and there's just no way that I could have become a professional golfer and professional instructor without you helping me along the way. So thank you so much. Thank you also to my wife, Heather. Heather, I feel so lucky to have someone who's so supportive of me, both on and off the golf course. Um, the best story that I could tell to illustrate how supportive Heather is is that leading up to our marriage, which, just, which was just a few weeks ago on October 3rd, um, and in the five weeks leading up to it, I played five tournaments. I played a tournament each week going leading up to our wedding, and Heather was completely supportive and encouraged that, and I simply don't know many other people in the world who would do that. So thank you so much. Um, I feel so lucky to have a partner who knows what golf means to me. It's so encouraging to me. So thank you so much. It truly means the world to me. And I love you. Thank you. Good evening. My name is Simon Bevan. On behalf of the PGO Ontario Board of Directors, I would like to introduce you to the first annual virtual awards night. It is my honor and privilege tonight to be here, be it virtually. I would like to thank and congratulate each and every nominee who was recognized by your peers this past year. At this time, I am thrilled to formally announce our PGO Ontario Hall of Fame and more importantly, our charter class. I am so proud to be a PGA of Ontario member, and this initiative will now allow us to recognize all the achievements of our fellow PGA of Ontario members. This initiative would not have happened without all the work put forth by our Founders Committee, and specifically, Michael Sherman. On behalf of all the 1,300 PG of Ontario members across the province, I would like to thank this committee for all their hard work to ensure that this initiative came to fruition. Without further ado, it's my privilege and honour to introduce the PG of Ontario Hall of Fame Charter Class. Mr. Jerry Anderson. Mr. Al Balding, Mr. Percy Barrett, Mr. Richard Borthwick, Mr. Bob Breen, Mr. Gordy Brideson, Mr. George Clifton, Mr. Warren Crosby, Mr. George Cumming Sr. Miss Deborah Lee Eldridge. Mr. Bob Gray. Miss Mary Jane Hall. Mr. Gar Hamilton. Mr. John Henrik. Mr. Wilf Homanek. Miss Patty Howard. Mr. Jim Johnston. Mr. Andy K. Mr. Carl Keffer. Mr. Ben Kern. Mr. George Knudsen. Mr. Willie Lamb. 
Mr. Ian Leggett, Mr. Irv Lightstone, Mr. Jack Littler, Mr. Gord McKinnis Sr., Mr. Jack McLaughlin, Mr. Mo Norman, Mr. Bob Panisic, Mr. Lex Robson, Mr. Michael Sherman, Mr. Ken Tarling, Mr. Lloyd Tucker, Mr. Murray Tucker, Mr. Sam Young, In closing, I would like to thank each and every one of you for joining us tonight and definitely congratulate all the finalists and our award winners. 2020 has been an interesting and challenging year to say the least. But it's in years like this, I'm proud to call myself a PGA member. For all your countless hours and work at your facilities, be it private, semi-private or public, for the work you have done for your members and patrons, to ensure 2020 was a safe year to play golf and enjoy this wonderful sport. Have a good evening. Hello fellow PG of Ontario professionals. My name is Michael Ornese, Vice President of PG of Ontario. And I am here this evening to announce the top 100 professionals from the Professional Recognition Program. The Professional Recognition Program recognizes those professionals who participated in, in PG of Ontario initiatives this past season. Here are your top 100 professionals. Congratulations to all those professionals who made it onto the top 100 in the Professional Recognition Program. Now, the PG of Ontario would like to recognize the top five point earners who will all win a cash reward for their commitment to the Professional Recognition Program. In fifth place from the Toronto Golf Club, Chevy Reedy. In fourth place from Cedar Bray Golf Club, Mike Johnson. In a tie for second from Niagara Lake Golf Club, Billy Simpkin. Also in a tie for second from Bayview Golf and Country Club, Dustin Kerr Taylor. And the top point earner for 2020 Professional Recognition Program from the Sunningdale Golf Club, Jason Wyatt. Congratulations, gentlemen. Congratulations to all those who participated in this past year's Professional Recognition Program. Please keep in mind that the 2021 PRP program has begun and the office will be accepting points until October 14th, 2021. Thank you for your time. This concludes our 2020 awards night. Thank you to my office team for your support in putting this presentation together for our enjoyment and to all that contributed to this program by submitting their respective pieces to us. We recognize that this has been an incredibly challenging season for all our pros, and we congratulate you on all of your successes. We wish you a safe and healthy off season and look forward to brighter days in 2021. Thank you for joining us.